Hi, I'm Keith St. Ange, 14 time national overall champion and multiple time world champion. Today we're going to be going over back wake slalom on two feet. Once you're proficient getting up backwards behind the boat and you're comfortable and solid, you're going to be ready to cross the wake. I would definitely recommend doing this on shoe skis first and then bringing this to your feet. So here we go, in our nice, clean, backwards, barefoot position with our wrist on top of our butt, bent knees about shoulder width apart, head and shoulders up. So I'm going to come towards you to my right side. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my butt. So I'm going to point my butt in the direction I want to go. As you can notice, the handle is being shifted over to my driving foot, which is the outside foot. So now what we have here, we have our wrist in the middle of our butt, okay? We have our shoulder, our wrist, our hip, and our foot all lined up perfectly with the rope being pulled straight from the boat. So this gives you a nice angle and balance to, to cross. Now you can also see I'm turning my feet on the water and turning my shoulders, shifting my shoulders over my driving foot. So here we go, the four pieces are turn the butt, shift the handle, turn the feet on the water, and shift the shoulders over that foot. As you can see the skier shift his butt in the direction he wants to go. The handle shifts over the skiing driving leg, the feet turn on the water, and the shoulders shift over. Now you can see the shoulder, the wrist, the hip, the foot is all in one line with the rope. Alright, I'm going to talk about some troubleshooting tips for you right now on back two foot wake slalom. It's very similar to the frontwards two foot wake slalom. So a couple things you're going to concentrate on is turning the feet. If your feet are square to the boat and parallel to the wake, you're going to come onto that wake and you're just going to stop, like you just hit a little curb basically. If those feet aren't turned and edge in the direction that you want to go, you're not going to be able to slice and cut through that first crest. Something else people do is, like two foot front slalom, is that they lean into it. So if I'm coming towards you, they'll drop their shoulder, they'll lean into it, which causes them to pull on the wrong hand the handle gets tilted down, and again, all the weight is on that lead foot, which will stop you from going on. Everything has to be over on that other side, so it'll give you balance and a position, and a strong position to cut and slice across that wake.